rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Not it. Any. Strange. Why is there a lit lamppost here, in the middle of the swamp, so far away from the town? The tree looks anything but healthy. Its bark is covered in strange mushrooms, and it seems to be slowly sinking into the swamp. A rather large and ugly stone head. It has only been roughly carved, a truly primitive work. I wonder what kind of animal that was, and more importantly, are there any still alive around you? We'll see. Hmm, really rotten. Aha! Bone worms have been at work here. Yeah? They go through bone like a woodworm through a tree. Now I have the worms for my potion. I wonder how it got you. Maybe in a flood? An old hat that's seen better days. It no longer shines and the moths have been at it. I think I can pull out a few threads. Yep, that's a nice thin rope. An old book. It's... it's empty. A large stove with a nice fire. At least it sheds a little light and warmth. Whoa, a human skeleton. Maybe the poor soul was part of the ship's crew. I can't see anything all that interesting. The skeleton looks kind of old and smells a little, but otherwise... I don't smell. <laughs> you almost scared me to death. I don't doubt it, sadly. Who... Who are you? I'm Death. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Death. My name's Wilbur Weathervin. Not Mr. Death. I am Death. You're famous. Why are you so down? Bah, what is death in this world? Nothing. This is a damn point-and-click adventure. No one dies. In any other reasonable role-playing game, you have to kill a hundred rats to reach the second level. Now that's a real game. But th there's a war with tons of dead and... And I'm sure my hamster Mucky died years ago, or, or didn't he? Of course there's all that, but you don't see anyone die, and you can't kill anyone here. Mucky has always been dead, just like most of the inhabitants of the city, and the pig that provided you with bacon for breakfast. They were created dead, you understand? Those are the bits I always skip over in novels. Do you know the ghost mirror in the mage school? Certainly. It used to belong to old Balthazar. Master Marcus says it leads to the land of the dead. Yes, it does. But only ghosts can walk through the mirror. Isn't there... isn't there some other way? 
Why should there be? It's a ghost mirror. No living being would be interested in walking through the mirror, believe me. But you're deaf. Who's to stop you from killing people? It's not that simple. I'm in middle management. I don't make any decisions. I just carry them out. Which means... It's the boss who decides when someone's time is up, not me. It's all written down in that book there, the Book of the Dead. Name and time of death of everything living in this world. But as you can see, there's nothing written in it. No murder, no accident, no suicide. No one has ever died here, and no one ever will die here. What am I doing here? You know, I've noticed it's nighttime here in the swamp, but it's daytime in the town. Why is that? I don't know. Probably magic. Ah. If you were to write a couple of names in the Book of the Dead, well, then you could go out and kill them, couldn't you? And get into trouble with the auditors. No thanks. Someone audits the Book of the Dead? What do they do? They check the should and haves. Have I killed exactly the number of people I should have? One little death too many and all hell breaks loose. Oh no. I'm not fiddling the Book of the Dead. Isn't death not the end, but just the beginning of something new? I'm sorry. Are you trying to be intellectual? Come on, it is one of life's fundamental questions. I've never been interested in what comes after me. I just look ahead. You should, too. Could you turn me into a ghost? Ghosts? are dead people who still have something they need to sort out in this world. You're still alive, and no one is allowed to die in this game. Do you see the problem? I still don't quite get that. As long as your name isn't in the Book of the Dead, I can't take you to the other side. Even if I ask really, really nicely? We're talking about the be-all and end-all. Eternity. So, there's absolutely no way? No. I have to be going. Deadly boring, yeah? <laughs> oh, good grief. A large stove with a nice... Shimmering blue mushrooms with green speckles. Those could be the ghost mushrooms I need for my potion. Just take one feather, a big clean one. Uh, Ziggy's. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? 
I have to learn a magic spell really, really quickly, and I thought maybe you could help. What kind of spell? Well, for my final exam, I have to cast the spell for Master Marcus. He says it takes months to learn, and I don't have that much time. Hmm, I don't think that should be a problem. I know lots of magic tricks. Tricks? For example, I know a trick that is largely unfamiliar to the experts, which uses a top hat and a rabbit. Your master Marcus will be utterly dumbfounded by it. All I need is a rabbit and a top hat. Wow, and you could teach me the spell today. Indubitably, it'll only take five minutes. Right, I'll get the rabbit and the hat. This is my lucky day. Almost too good to be true. But if something is too good to be true, it's sure to be true all the same, I always say. I'll just be going. I have seen that you are going to come back. I found the pattern and the wand. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Wilbur. Let me know if you need anything else. Could you rats look for something in the sewers for me? Sure. What do you need? I need a powerful magical artifact. Can you get me something like that? Unfortunately, that is beyond our capabilities. Such artifacts are very, very rare, and as far as I know, and I would know, there are no more in this town. Uh, apart from the Archmage's artifacts, of course. One of my tests for my final exam requires me to brew a potion. Say no more. You're missing some ingredients? You got it. These ingredients for potions really are ridiculous. I always wonder, how did someone come up with the idea of mixing dragon snot with the hair from the backside of a raccoon in a potion? Really, how? What, what do you need, then? Here, yeah, see for yourself. Hmm, I'm afraid I can't help you with most of that. But this here, stag beetle antlers. Uncle Juan has some of those hanging on his wall. I'll ask him if he will give us a couple. Could you get me those two ingredients? That would really be a huge help. Not a problem for the King of Thieves. I'll hang the flag in front of the entrance again as soon as we have anything. Could you help me learn a spell for my final exam? I'm afraid that none of us is a mage. Then I'll have to think of something else. And now for something completely different. Take care, Mr. King. Take care, my friend. A top hat. Unfortunately, I can't reach it. Now I can write anything, anytime. But what? And on what? What do you think you're doing? Um... Uh, no problem. I just wanted to try out my new quill. I'd be happy if you wouldn't do that in the destiny-shaping Book of the Dead. Sorry. Hello, Death. Hello. That thing up there on the shelf, that's a top hat, isn't it? 
Aren't you a clever one? Well, I am a gnome of the world. It belonged to my father. He always wore it. He was a grave digger. You mean your father wasn't deaf? No, I was the first one in the family to go to university. Would you lend me your top hat for a bit? I'll bring it back to you in top shape. You want to repair it? No. Father's top hat stays just how it is. And would you just lend it to me the way it is? Absolutely not. It's an old family heirloom. Could you... Ghost? Yes, of course. But my hands are tied. As long as much as I'd like. I have to be... Uh... Being shrunk is a disgusting feeling. That's the Book of the Dead. That, but at the moment there isn't a... What do you think? Uh... Disturb the internal order of the... Exactly. Sorry. There's a plant growing on that tree. Hey, those are Red Devil's armpits. I have them. Let's see. These are stag beetle antlers. Lucky thing Uncle Alfred had these on the wall. That is to say, stag beetles don't have antlers. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. Nothing more there. I'll place the flag back at the entrance. It sure is helpful having allies who know their way around the city. Right then, I'll grind the antlers to a powder. Done. Now I have the stag beetle antler powder for my potion. Hello, Mr. Merchant, where are you going? Away! Just away! Out of this hole! I'm going somewhere where my stuff will sell better. But, but, I still have one item to get from you. Well, theoretically, two items. Rubbish! You've already chosen two things. The roll of magically treated cloth and the magic potion pot. The scratch-resistant, easy-clean pot set. That's not true, and you know it. I want to select something else. Otherwise... Or else? Otherwise, I'll go to the town guard and have you arrested. Haven't I told you already? I've given you the roll of material and magic potion pot. How will you prove the contrary? Otherwise, I won't like you and you can't be my friend anymore. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> eh, why not? Here, you can have this sack. I can't take this for much longer. And now, be gone before I change my mind. I hope the contents turn out to be useful for something. It's bad enough that he swindled me like that. Hmm, there are a number of fireworks in here.